let's try taking the derivative of sine cubed of 10x squared. For these types of trig functions, I like to rewrite sine cubed as the sine of 10x squared all to the third. This makes it easier to see where the outermost operation is. In this case, we see that life would be a lot easier if we were just taking the derivative of something to the third. So I'm going to call my box the sine of 10x squared, and then take the derivative. This gives us 3 times the box to the second, which after plugging back in will be 3 sine squared of 10x squared. But don't forget, we still need to multiply by what the derivative of inside the box was. In this case, taking the derivative of inside the box isn't so simple as I also don't know how to do the derivative of sine of 10x squared. However, I do know that the derivative of the sine of something is just the cosine of something. So here I'm going to call the 10x squared my new box, and take the derivative of sine of box, which just gives me the cosine of box. Now plug 10x squared back in, but don't forget we still have to multiply by the derivative of our new box. And luckily the derivative of 10x squared is easy, and just becomes 20x. So all that's left to do is bring everything together, and combine some terms, which gives us our final answer below.